Hello everyone, it's your favorite fanciful feline here, and today I'm showing you this uh, neat little script I made. Uh, so it's an avatar setup script, and it's going to be used for the Unity section of uh, a study of avatars. You can grab it here, I'll make sure to link this in the description. And you just got to go over to releases, and you can download it. Now I couldn't get one script to work for SDK2 and SDK3. So you need to grab which one's appropriate. So this is 173 for SDK3, 172 for SDK2. Let's go ahead and download it. I'm go ahead and start up Unity here. And uh, while that's going, go ahead and get things organized. So as you can tell, I have a bunch here. <laughs> because obviously I'm the one working on it. So I'm just going to pop into this folder, just so you can see that's the one I just downloaded. Alright, go ahead and pop that in, let Unity do its thing, alrighty, so now we got Unity open, we just need to import one of the SDKs, I'm going to do SDK3, this is the latest one I believe, go ahead and import. Alrighty, now we see that the SDK exists. We're going to go ahead and import the one I downloaded, which is version 1, technically 1 1.7, but it's 1-7, 13, or 3, I can words. Alright, so that's imported. You'll see this new tab up here in the top. It's because I do plan to make more, more than just this one. But for now, this is the script that I'm using. So in here, it tells you which SDK version you're on. Uh, if this number is a 1, it means you're in the wrong SDK with the wrong uh, program version. So if you need it for SDK 2, and you grab the SDK 3 version, this will have a 1 here, which basically tells you that's the wrong one. But Let's follow the steps here. So, how to use import your avatar into Unity. Alright, well, let's do that quick. Go ahead and show an explorer. Go to assets. Explore to it in this one. Uh, extra, not, not extras. Projects, that one. Uh, this is the model I'm using for testing because <laughs> I have a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to grab both of these. And this is importing them into this project now. Now that it's imported, I'm going to go ahead and make duplicates of both, of both of these. Just so I can show off a few neat little features. So now I have all of these duplicates of my uh, character. So all of these are exactly the same. So let's, let's go over the sidebar here. So notice all, all the settings that are set here. Rig, animation, and materials. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this into this box. And notice we only have three folders down here at the side. So, I want to give this a name. This will be just show off. And I want to add a floor plane because I like having a floor. I'm going to tell it to pull the VRC animations. So these pull the animations from the folder down here. It pulls uh, some of these and it puts them to a specific folder. So if I click this generate button, so name, drag FBX in the box, click generate. Generation normally doesn't take too long, as you see it's finished. So if you look, it says avatar success. Avatar is finished generating. Check your avatars folder. See it's not there now, but as soon as I hit OK, we now have this avatars folder. Then it has the avatar name show off. And as you notice there's one less backup here. So I can close this box. As you see, the scene has changed. Avatar is now in the scene. 
So I go to show off. We now have folders in here. So animations, FBX, prefabs, textures, and UMATs. And a scene, which is the scene here. So if you look at UMATs, this is the Unity materials. They're pulled here. Textures is empty because I don't have any. This is the prefab, which I don't know why it does this. It always does this for Avatar 3. But it auto adds the avatar descriptor. Click off of that. Here's the original FBX with all the import changes. That way it's more optimized in game. This is pulled animations. It doesn't pull animations uh, off the avatar, so you have them there. You still have to do that yourself. But here's the one thing you always have to do. As it says here, set your avatar to humanoid and then configure your avatar. So go ahead and hit apply and I'm going to configure it as you normally would. Alright, so you could go through and do this yourself, but I have included, assuming you're using uh, like the the naming scheme straight out of cats, this should work. So I hit that, this should all be set correctly. I hit apply. With this, it sets up these, it removes the toe bones, and it removes the jaw bone because you don't exactly need those. Right, so zoom in, avatar script is here. And uh, this is all you know, the default stuff, it's all set for how you want to set it up because, you know, avatars are different. Uh, but also what this does is it spawns this little ball that says suggested eye location. Because with this, uh, it can give you a ballpark number up here where it's just at your eye. So normally, you know, it'll always put the ball down here. But if I want to use the, the ballpark numbers, you know, just copy and paste. And now it's up here. So if I want it to set the eye position like right there, there we go. And that's perfectly in line with the eye, at least where the, the bone is. Now a few safety features I have installed. So obviously you can toggle those. I got animations down here are labeled. I don't know if this is a hundred percent accurate for what's what, but it should be close enough. Oh, not that one. Uh, play layers. I think they're the correct ones for these, but I don't know offhand. Obviously, you can always do everything yourself, but they're all labeled. It should at least help. Uh, like I said, safety features. So if I try to make another one show off, let's say I didn't drag it in. Import field is empty. So I say, oh, okay. Drag that in. But it says name's taken. Oh, okay. Well. Let's give it a different name, so then generate that one by itself. And let's just say I don't want to do either of these. I click generate. Uh, everything else about the avatar will be uh, finished, I guess. There you go. Check your avatars folder. I see it popped another scene in here. And it gave us another folder down here where everything's set up besides the config. Right there. And the eye only generates uh, if a specific bone exists. So that's why I have this other avatar here. Let's just name it Mike. Uh, let's not do the floor. Hit generate.
So, um, funny enough, most of the time taken, is it just setting stuff up here and applying it? There we go. Let's set. And the only reason all this is getting weirdly lit is just because of these. There you go. The ball didn't exist. It's because the bone that it's looking for doesn't exist. Which the bone, if I open these up, is specifically armature, hips, spine, chest, neck, head, and it's looking for eye left. That's what it's basing it off of. Because if I go into this one, spine, chest, neck, head, so this one has IL2, which isn't correct for the, the naming scheme. So it doesn't find it. But as long as that one exists in that exact path, You'll be good to go. Alrighty. Well, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.